Hi there everyone, this is Mailman Zero playing Pitfall on the Atari 2600. So Pitfall is a pretty amazing game because you look at this game and think, okay, this is nothing special, right? I mean, really. But when you think about how complicated it was to get a game like this to work in the tiny amount of memory that they had to work with, then this game becomes truly spectacular. See, this game actually is made... Oh boy, these are, this is tough. I can never make this... Oh, I made it! I can't believe it! That's the first time I made it in, a, in yeah, forever. So, okay. So you gotta jump over these things or else they take away your points. The object of the game is to get as many points as possible before your time runs out without losing your lives. You have two lives to do everything in. And all you can do is run and jump. You can't do anything else. So there's a diamond bar or a gold bar or something. And it's worth points. A good amount of points. And uh, basically that's the whole point of the game is just not die and be able to make it through everything. See? That's dying. You don't want to fall in the water. You don't want to fall in the pits. You don't want to run into enemies. See, these logs, all they do is they take away your time. No, they take away time or points. They take away points. So the logs take away points, which is, you know, not that big a deal, but scorpions down there, they actually take away a life if you get hit by one. And these Oh, see that's what happens if you jump in the frog, or in the frog, in the alligator's mouth, is you die. You can actually stand, I think, on the right hand side, even when they open their mouths. See, but I, I'm so scared to try anything when I'm on those guys. Okay, so I made it across there. So that's kind of the secret, I guess, is you got to stand kind of on the right. Um, see, there's a down area, too, where you can go down and explore over here too. But uh, sometimes there's treasure and things down there. Here of course you can't go right any farther because of that. So the game consists of, uh, you know now I can't remember if it's, if it's 128 or 256. I think it's 256 or 255. Individual screens. That's fire. Individual screens. But the screens would take a lot of memory to store. So, the way they're stored... See, those guys are hard. As soon as you get over the top of them... Oh, I'm dead. As soon as you get over the top of those guys... Well, let's go the other way. Um, they turn around. So, but the thing is, okay, you look at this game, and it's like, yeah, there's just a bunch of, of levels here. Well, to even be able to store, you know, what things should be on each level would take way too much memory. So the way it does it is each room is given a number. Based on whatever number the room has, there's an algorithm that, that runs on the room number to determine what things should be there. So like, uh, you know, one thing could be a log on the right, just sitting there not moving. Another thing could be, you know, a swinging thing up here. Another one could be water or maybe a swamp uh, or black uh, stuff, it's like tar. Sometimes it could mean that it opens and closes. That also includes what's at the bottom. So at the bottom you've got, you know, this one has nothing on it except for a scorpion. So this one has fire, this one has also some pits. All of that is stored not in memory, but is an algorithm that's generated every time the game is run to be able to produce the variety of screens that you see here. So let's see how we can do it here. I used to play this game for hours when I was a kid. Just, uh, you know, going along, trying to get as many points as possible. Notice that I haven't really got any points yet. And I run at the exact same rate as the other things, so that's cool too. And uh, I should also point out that, although it doesn't have anything to do with this game directly, um, the television advertisement for this game was actually done by a very young Jack Black. 
look for it on uh, on YouTube. Maybe I'll put a link to it. But um, the advertisement for this was done by Jack Black when he was a kid, talking about how awesome Pitfall is. It's the best game ever made. Oh, got some got some money. That's the object of the game. Get some money. Come on, we'll go through here. Jump. I'm always scared that thing's gonna open up on me. See, I could have made that if I hadn't stopped. Can I jump off of it? No, I'll stay on it. Now I can jump off and not get hit. I think you lose points. I saw at the beginning you lose points if you fall down one of those holes. I'm gonna go down here and just, you know, see what's down here. Oh, it's one of those. I don't like those. Oh, okay. I'll fight him. More like try to jump past him. Yeah, I did it! You have to time that almost perfectly. Oh, see? And I shouldn't have even been down here because there's a ring up there. That's a much harder jump than it looks like. Can we make this happen? Come on, ring. Wait, where was the ring? Is it on the next one? There better be a ring on this next one or I'm going to be upset. Where did the ring go? Did I get it and not notice? That's unlikely. Okay, now I'm confused. So either there's a glitch <laughs> Or maybe there's a thing where if you see something and you don't get it, then it disappears. I don't know. I don't know enough about this game. All I know is that... Oh, and there's my ring. Huh. I don't remember it being that far last time. Whatever. Okay. And all of these screens, by the way, are a loop. So if you keep going in one direction, you'll eventually come back to the same point. And uh, you know, this was one of the first games that was really made with, uh, you know, a long game that was intended to be played. That you know, most of the games back then, it was like they were trying to mimic the arcade and give you, you know, like a you know, two to five minute experience and then you were dead. But um, this game was like, you know, we got people in living rooms, they're gonna sit there, they're gonna play this for 20 minutes straight, and that will be their game. Anyway, uh, this is it. Uh, I'll just die here. Join me next time. Bye.